Hey guys, it is the Lost Air 45 here. You're an at gamer, and uh, today is a Redstone for Dummies video. Um, I'm not sure how long this will be time, so I may have to split up in two parts. So if I cut off abruptly, I am sorry, but uh, you will uh, see the other part. Mm -hmm. So to start off with the very very basics, right here you have three blocks of redstone. When redstone is hit, it actually emits a particle right there, and it actually glows up to one or two spaces, I believe. Meaning it's a sufficient enough uh, source of light if you are in a tunnel and you need to be able to uh, see some more. Uh, once you harvest redstone, sorry guys, I'm lagging here for a second. You get about four of these, so I got five. And uh, they can be used to be placed down on almost any surface besides glass. Redstone can be washed off. So if you're trying to delete a project with it, you can just easily put some water on it. It's gone, as I said earlier. Can't be placed on glass. Stone, but not glass. There are many different ways to power redstone. As a matter of fact, there are uh, one, two, three, four. Four of them. You can step on a pressure plate, and that will send a current or a positive energy one block either way. Or you can use redstone and it can go more than one block anyway. Torches are good for up to uh, 16 blocks and uh, it emits basic plow uh, power. There are mm -hmm. buttons which emit a short pulse of power that end and they... Uh, oh, redstone torches go on forever by the way guys. Until they burn out at least, which is possible with a clock. But we'll get to that later. For right now, the button right here will emit a short pulse that when the pulse reaches its target, like a dispenser, it will stop and then you just get one air dispensed or one thing dispensed it's good for uh, making large cannons the switch can turn the power circuit on or off like you'd expect with a light switch meaning if it's up it will emit power if it's down it will not emit power then there is a torch like I said redstone can be powered with a torch or any source of redstone can be powered up to 16 blocks as you can see it shows from the bright orange it was at the very first start of the torch to the darker and tool eventually part where it is the default redstone color on the ground. You can see here that's pitch black dark basically. And it's cherry pitch black dark there. But if you need to, let's say, build oops, sorry guys, a super project that goes longer than 16 feet, you can place a dispenser and dispensers make it go a farther 16 feet until you place another dispenser. And uh, dispensers are, I mean, not dispensers, uh, Repeaters, as they're called. Sorry, guys. Um, repeaters are very useful because they have three settings on them. One is normal, which automatically just sends the current through. Uh, click it again with your right clicking, I believe. Click it once, and you'll get a tidbit of delay. Twice, a tidbit more delay. And three times, oh, if you don't break it, three times is to give it full delay. And that basically makes it so the current takes quite a bit longer than it did before. Now, like I said, remember buttons emit a short pulse instead of a continuing pulse, and the repeaters will delay it. So I press this button here, and you see the current slowly travels through the redstone until it comes over here to the piston. The piston extends for a short time, and then the current leaves the piston and the power is now gone from the complete circuit. Redstone is very useful for opening doors. Oh, come on. You can open doors of both varieties. Iron doors have to be powered by redstone, but you can use a pressure plate, which you cannot, you technically wouldn't call redstone if it's just one block away. Dispensers can be targeted to shoot things with redstone, but I don't have anything in there, so it's not gonna shoot anything. No blocks are powered with redstone nowadays, so they uh, play a note every time you touch it. Oh, that's actually a jukebox. Sorry guys, but uh, note blocks play a note whenever you power them with redstone. TNT actually is now required to have a lever pushed in order to make it explode. And the two newest things in game are pistons, sticky and non-sticky, and they can only be extended with redstone. If I blow this area up over here, let me quickly go over here and show you this. Redstone current, if it is running alongside something, will not power any of these things. Therefore, it is useless to drag it alongside it because it's 
just totally useless and it's a waste of redstone. So make sure you are letting it face the object and then directly to a power source or VIA redstone repeaters. Uh, but yeah, back to TNT, which is where? There it is. Okay, so you press this lever on the TNT here and... Kaboom! All the redstone is gone and torches and everything. Very effective way to mine. And uh, yeah, that's it for that. Redstone cannot go up a wall. No. See, uh, if I'm trying to place it here, it doesn't go up here. You can't travel current through the wall. It will travel one block. So I put a let's say I put a torch at the beginning of the stream of redstone right there. I come over here and I put another piece of redstone here. The current would still travel through there, but I'm not sure it would maintain current. So basically, if I put a dispenser on the other side, this would work. Not re not repeater, dispenser. Um, but redstone can actually be powered in staircase manners, meaning it can go upstairs. As you see here, it goes up here to the very top. And uh, that's one way to get redstone powered at the top, but that's really... Uh, takes quite a bit of redstone. If you don't use an inventory editor like me, it actually will be a major waste. Another thing you can do to get redstone current up is this kind of a thing. I'm not really sure exactly what it's called or what major, major, major use it is besides this. Um, basically, what you want to do is place one, two, uh, let me see, two, three, four block high stacks or however many high, but make sure it's an even number. And what you're going to want to do here is uh, place your obstacle that you want powered on the opposite side of the off top off torch and that should give the power now come back over here press this lever and I now have switched the power to go up this side and the piston is now retreated because this current yeah sorry guys lagging here this torch right here was powering it so basically that's how you travel redstone up It'd be useful like if you had a block that you wanted to be pushed back and forth and like a redstone door automated door that'd be one of those uses um let's gonna move on now to the rs nor latch now the rs nor latch is extremely useful for many 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 things the rs nor latch makes it so things have an on and off state changeable by buttons the rs nor latch is typically made in three by three square where you place one thing, let's say right here. Oh, come on. And uh, let me get another block here. Oh. And we grab another block. There we go. And you'd place. See, so count over. One. Oh, come on, lag. One, two. Oh, yeah, that would work. And then you go down two. And right about there would work. Then you place a redstone torch. Oh, come on. Up against this side of the block. Put redstone coming this way. And of course, it'll, the redstone diverts to the power source. So you can actually see, uh, if I had a torch, you'd see it. The redstone would curve in towards that. Put another redstone torch right here. And put this right this. And this side, I believe, will be the off side. And then that side over there will be powered. As in over here, if you look right here. Off side, on side. And then you want to place buttons on the black of the two box so you can switch the power current. Uh, oh, you know, let me change the time to day for you guys. Um, come over here, and you can see at the moment, since I have that side powered, that piston is up. But this piston over here is not powered. Press this button, and the power, sure, come on, flip, and this piston will now be raised up. That is useful for many, many things. Uh, I will, in different video, uh, later video, of redstone go in depth for what this means this is something you should always keep in mind for while you're beginning your redstone creations the rs nor latch remember you want buttons on both sides of this and you want to be able to power it so you can switch the current over and this will always stay on this current even though i said redstone buttons will only emit uh, small pulls for some odd reason with the nor latch it actually makes the redstone current stay on one side very useful very useful i use it in most of my redstone creations except for a few of them, and uh, I will definitely teach you guys more about the whole RS Nor Latch thing, and actually what I'm going to teach you next. This is called a redstone clock. What it does is emit a pulse that constantly goes around in a circle, 
basically making it so that you can target something to happen every blank blank second. At the moment, power is applied here every other second. So the black in front of me, which my cursor's on, gets power every other second. If I wanted to power, let's say, a piston to go up and down every other second to cause, let's say, a black thing pushed up and down like a staircase, you would just simply grab redstone and take it over to another area. Okay, there we go. And uh, this place your thing you want power right there, and it will go up and down with the repeat of the clock. The longer the clock, mine is a 5 o'clock right here, the longer it will take for current to reach the object. So if you want something to come up and down really slow, like let's say you wanted a piston staircase that slowly every step opened up that you had to jump on, you would want a 6 or a 7 clock or something like that that would provide longer, uh, longer reach or longer timing. The shortest clock I believe is actually the 5 clock. I don't think you can do a 4 clock without it dying out because the 5 clock is actually really fast. But if you do a 1 clock, a 2 clock, or a 3 clock, I know that for a fact, the power will actually just die out right away. And uh, basically what happens then is the torches get burnt out and they all go into the off state instead of the on state. And that is extremely useless because now you can't do anything with it. And the redstone power there is all off too. But um, just take a little look at this here. I'll walk around it if I can. Oop, lagging again. Yep, this is basically what you need to know. I recommend pausing the video right about here and looking at everything. And, whoa, whoa, lagging. And then, okay, final thing here is the AND gate. Oh, one more thing after this, actually, guys. Uh, the AND gate is something useful for uh, custom maps, maybe, I would say. It's probably its best use. And what this does here is place three blocks, torch on one side, torch on another, Torch there and place a piece of redstone there. Flip this switch. There. Come on, lag. Copy it with me here, dude. Uh, press the switch right here and. There you go. Voila. And now, redstone current allows. Oh, come on, weather. That should work. Come on, there you go. Anyway, so that basically turned off these two switches. So that this torch is now allowed to stay on. That will power this and makes the piston go up. You could use that for like a door. Maybe make it so uh, you link redstone to switches on throughout the map. And that makes it turn all the switches on in order to open a door later on the map. Which will lead to like a final boss fight maybe if you're playing like a Zelda map or something. But uh, that's pretty much all you need to know for AND gates. They're really simple to make. Uh, probably the simplest thing. Just keep looking here and you can uh, see... Scroll back a little bit here for you. That's basically what I would do for an AND gate. I don't use them too often, but when I do, they're awesome. Um, very useful. If you saw my piston staircase, I actually could have used one in this, and I tried to. But I uh, didn't have the brain power at the moment to uh, decide how I wanted to put that in there. So I will incorporate that later and make it ten times better for a security mechanism. Come over here now. The very final and last thing before... Uh, I part you guys off is the and uh, not and gate, the uh, hatch. Right now, as you see, there's a hatch blocking this little tunnel, and there's no way for me to go down there. If I come over to the switch and I power it, hatch can open because of the switch. It's just another simple little redstone over there, kind of door thing, but it is something that's very useful for like hideouts. If you want to build a hideout down there, and then make like a secret stairway to another upper point in the world, uh, that's very useful for that. Other than that, guys. I will see you guys next video for redstone. Um, pretty simple stuff, like I said. They're very useful, though, and uh, I hope to see you guys build some awesome stuff and put it as video responses. Video responses are automatically allowed for all my videos. Um, if you are interested in learning a lot more about redstone, be sure to comment because I can message you privately if you want to learn about it. Another very useful modification for, uh, for what's it called, uh, Minecraft, is to have a vertical redstone mod which lets you place redstone up this wall so that I could climb up here. That would make it more realistic compared to the inside plumbing or inside wiring inside of modern day houses. I am tempted to add the mod on and do some really awesome building with it, but um, for right now I'll leave it be. Uh, other than that guys, have a nice day. I'll see you on the far side.